let's go. Start the Friday music. Oh man, the happy music, happy vibes, sunny outside. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome in to a very casual Friday edition of the <laughs> podcast. One of the best shows of the year, guys. We are going to predict the season with tarot cards. <laughs> Let's go. Ariana, Hi, good you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I love the hat. I love it. I, thank the, you. Thank the, you. Even the room, the piano, the guitar, everything looks so perfect. The vibe thank you. Thank perfect. you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, real quickly, I, we also have, we're presented by DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rated sportsbook app. Use promo code DMVR when you sign up. I got Harrison Wind here. He looks like he's ready to go. I'm actually a little nervous for this because this Me is too. honestly <laughs> our most consequential show of the season. Like we don't Very even have to watch the games though. after this. It's so true. I've also got Brendan vote. Brendan, do you have nervous energy? We need somebody with confident energy. To... Oh no, I'm ready to go. Also, I missed this show last time, so this is my first time doing this with the goat. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. <laughs> um. So Ariana, how? Just tell us real quickly. So you have a little nervousness too. It sounds like. Uh, I, I sorry. Say that one more time. You have a little nervousness. I am nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to pull. So I'm, I'm going along with this with you guys. I'm just, I'm just as invested. <laughs> I'm really nervous. So if you guys are new, Ariana is our resident witch and she is also our resident tarot card reader. And uh, for the last two, I think this has been two years in a row now. It's, yeah. So this is our third time doing it. It might not have been years in a row. We might've missed one year, but uh, I think it's, it's one of our favorite predict, uh, segments we do one of our favorite episodes we do people really get into it we're going to pull tarot cards for the denver nuggets season for different players and last year <laughs> frighteningly accurate frighteningly accurate representation of how the season would go were you were you surprised at all ariana as you're watching the season are you watching along with all of these like the tower in mind and yeah um <laughs> it shocks me every time i don't know how tarot works even though i'm a professional reader i don't know why it works <laughs> <laughs> And that scares me and is really exciting as well. So. so before we get into it, I have to ask you about everybody's favorite nugget, new nugget, uh, Bones Highland. Ugh. A little bit of a witchy name, Bones. Absolutely. Uh, Bones Highland. That's a great name. But um, what do you make of his name and what do you make of him? I love him. It's so interesting with the Nuggets, how they were so kind of low key over the last five years and have added more and more people that get the energy to a totally new place. Yeah, And he's absolutely one of those people that is hype and uh, brings something that brings vibes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that that uh, are different from what it used to be. Like we used to just be, you know, I love Gary Harris and all the people, right. but, but, you know, everyone was more like kind of low key working towards what you're doing. And now there's a little more energy of like, we're weird and we're proud and like, we're also extremely talented and that's, I feel like Bones kind of represents that a lot. It's so true that having um, just like somebody with great positive energy in the group elevates everybody. We were yeah. just talking earlier about like, I'm not sure if Eric was going to make today's show or not, but it's like, he's always, he's the easiest person to make laugh. And it makes me feel like I'm funny. A hundred percent. Yeah. I miss him. It's been a week in our life. It's been a week since anyone laughed at my jokes, and I'm not trying to confront the fact that I'm not actually funny. I'm not right. ready for that. It's so true. It's so true. Um, so I understand, Ariana, you have a new deck. I do. So I actually was in Colorado a month ago to go to a wedding, and my bandmate Jeff and I went to a witch shop in Boulder called Panthers Shout Gate. Out. <laughs> Shout out okay. to Panthers Gate. And we got this new deck. So this is from Colorado. And there is, what I like about this deck is it has herbs on it, which I thought mm. would add a really interesting element to things. So you can see this Very card. bolder. So herbs and bolder. That yeah, it says together. parsley on it. So now when I pull a card, there's also going to be an herb attached to it. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that would be a great thing to just like throw into the mix, the cauldron, so to speak, so that we can all, not only will we have the card to work with, we'll also have this herb. So 
maybe if we want more of like a player in a certain time, we'll get this herb or if we want something to count, you know what I mean? Like we, all, we can all do that together. <laughs> I do feel like we almost need to, based on the herbs we received today, we need to like chop them up and put them into a little mix and yeah. all put this like on our desk or something, you know, yeah. for the season. Yeah. It might smell and maybe, terrible, like onion. They're yeah. Like, oh. And some of them are like, like I'm pretty sure marijuana is one of the herbs. Really? <laughs> Aaron Gordon. I'm oh, sorry. Just kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> Who is going to get that marijuana one? card? Um, uh, by the way, for anyone curious, parsley uh, is native to the central and eastern Mediterranean region. I knew that off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, vote is going to be on uh, uh, spices and herbs duty today so yes. every card that gets pulled um, he'll have some quick hitters like that yeah <laughs> and we can like we'll learn about it throughout the season like maybe we'll start off not knowing what they are and then like a month later we'll we'll know we'll all know about astrologus i don't know oh wow <laughs> huh. we're gonna, we're all, we're gonna learn sure. we're all gonna learn okay. Harrison, are you able to share screen do you have that that ability? I think I could share my screen, yeah. So if you open up uh, in production assignment, I put um, the tarot card meanings. So if you mm -hmm. want to have hop on that duty, it would be it would be very helpful. Um, without further ado, oh, I was gonna say I really love that this ca deck came from Colorado, though. That's, yeah, it's, it's so a nice cool. little. You know, it it feels right that we're reading yeah. from a deck that comes from here. I'm so excited. <laughs> so where should we start, guys? What card should we pull for? Should we start off a little? Should we should Let's, we, start should we like, ease into it? Should we ease think, into it a little bit? I think we should do a Zeke Naji. <laughs> like okay. let's do a Zeke Naji here. Like let's ease into the season here. Pull our first card for Zeke Naji. Okay. And what's the, the context here is that he didn't do that great in summer league, right? Kind of disappointed. Rough summer league, rough preseason. Yeah, he's on a little bit of a, of a okay. struggle, but he's got so some work to do. What do we what does Zeke need to know or see? Yeah. All right, give me one second here. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, we need like, I should have uploaded music some music. Or something. Okay. Patient music. Oh, this is a great card to start with. The Ace of Pentacles. And it the looks Ace like of the, Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. And it looks like that's whole grains. Oh, great. Uh, I mean, the <laughs> most actually the, mo the most hilarious straight ver forward version of that is like bulk up, gain some weight, <laughs> like, uh, oh. which is a really funny, which is a really funny way to think about that. But actually, it seems like Zeke. Um, when you see the ace, aces are always beginnings. They're always chances to go through a, like a portal of some kind to the next realm of your life. And okay. Pentacles is always about the real world. It's about uh, money and it's about your health and it's about it's also everything that builds your own foundation and trusting in your own foundation so I think that he actually has a great chance to um, feel more at home on the nuggets and feel more confident and he just needs to start trusting that he's missing hmm. trust so if he oh. can trust what's trust where he's at and um, Uncanny. do things that nourish that trust, whether that makes him feel more physically grounded, whether it makes him feel more emotionally grounded, whatever's going to kind of ground him more, that's going to, that's going to set him up for success. And it's positive. That's a positive card. That is a positive and, card. And I can then, I can add this area as part of a general healthy diet consumption of whole grains is associated with lower risk of several diseases. <laughs> They're a good source of carbohydrates, <laughs> multiple nutrients and dietary fiber. So thank you. <laughs> this is great news. Get gotcha. some bread. Great news. Get I think some, kind of bread. it's on brand, right? Isn't Zeke kind of like whole grain? Like the fundamentals, <laughs> like you know, like the not flashy, but he's coachable. He That's shows true. Up he's he's definitely whole grain. He's, he's the whole grain. grain. Um, do, you want, do you want me to share the screen, Adam? Here. Yeah. Can you do it? Share screen. Um, you can just, as we're talking, you can. Oh wow! An infinite amount of Harrison. Okay. Oh, this is the awesome. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh yeah. I uh, love you that. Can, New financial opportunity, I see. Um, so new yeah, financial opportunity. Yeah. New job. I like it. New path. It is funny that you mentioned the confidence part because that's definitely, I would say, Zeke's biggest obstacle is he is like zero confidence for some reason. Yeah, and I love that affirmation they're giving to him at the end there. I am open to receive the very best the universe has to offer me. It's sometimes hard to receive. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really, it's really hard to receive. And he's in mm -hmm. this, he's in this position where – he need. I mean, I wonder if that could even be like in a basketball context, of just like receiving passes and stuff like that. 
but you know he has to you know he has to be confident he has to he has to trust himself and be confident right well okay. maybe the universe will give him you know an opportunity in the g league this year and he <laughs> maybe receive maybe that with open what, arms maybe that's what it is uh, i like it all right what's um good start what, where should we go? It's a really good start. Should we go over? Yeah, to I like that. Uh, let, actually, let's go to Faku. Faku Composo. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, what does Faku? Team. What does Faku need? Faku. What does Faku need to know about his upcoming season to benefit him on the Nuggets? Cool. I love it. Oh my God! It's the magician. That's no Faku. way. No, you're. Oh, no. Come on. I mean, Faku I trust you. <laughs> That can't be real. Yes, it is. That even kind of looks that kind of looks like him there. What kind of food did he get? Or oh, uh, this is the one I was talking about earlier. Astral Astragalus. I've never heard of this before. Let me see what I can do. So yeah, Faku, Faku just needs to be Faku. He's already the magician. He just needs to be himself. This reminds me of kind of like when Jokic got the reversed emperor last year, and it was like basically telling him to be the fool. Oh right. Faku just needs to keep. Being himself, he needs to be the magician. He needs to be active. That's the magician is is very active, very conscious, very focused. So he actually should should step into a leadership position more too. Hmm. Um, leadership, huh? Within, hmm. like, I would say, yeah, he needs to run. He need like we still need to see Jokic and all that stuff. But I feel like. So much of the next season depends on people other than Jokic so that he can have some time to rest. And that's where Faku, I think, needs to step up and be more himself that way. Somebody's be... giving us the pronunciation here. Astragalus. 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 Well, I'll tell you this. It comes from a type of bean. Uh, <laughs> while there are multiple species, most, uh, most supplements contain the Astragalus membranicus. The herb is said to offer multiple health benefits for multiple conditions, including heart benefits. It's also thought to stimulate the immune system. Nice. Oh, wow. I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> do not take, no one at home take any of these herbs, please, by the way. <laughs> sure I, am not, I am not a doctor <laughs> at all. All right. So the magician's an interesting. And obviously, his nickname is the magician. Um, so that one, <laughs> that one fits kind of nicely. Yeah. Uh, almost a little too nicely. What do you have for us here, uh, Wind? Let's see the magician. Talent the magician is the card of talent and power. Hmm. The ma the ability to manifest my goals through the skills I have within me. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Um, all right. Let's do. Uh, let's move on. What should our next one be? Should we go to Jeff Green, newcomer Jeff Green? Okay, sure. love it. Sure. Let's get Jeff Green in here. Okay, another person who we hope will take some weight off Jokic. Okay, you what is this? Cards every time is that how it works? You shuffle. I the shuffle card? them before. I shuffle them up before, and then I just lay them out, and I'm like, "This is the okay. order, basically." Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you want to go on tour together, the people are already putting us in the draw. <laughs> so Do not take these herbs. <laughs> Carry on. I'm very concerned. We're this is symbolic them. only. We're only really doing this at for symbolism. Okay. Okay. So here is for. Jeff Green. What does Jeff Green need to know to benefit him in the upcoming season? Oh my God, here's the marijuana card. Okay, well, it's reversed. <laughs> <laughs> mm, interesting. All right, Jeff Green's marijuana card. What's it called? That's interesting. Uh, Ten of Cups. You know, many are asking and why he chose Denver this summer. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, interestingly. And it's marijuana, which is hilarious. Um, okay, so... Let's think about that. So the Ten of Cups, when we last saw this, this was actually what we saw for Gary Harris last year when he was traded. But that was upright. So when it's reversed, I think that, I think Jeff might struggle a bit. Um, I think he probably has a few things to deal with um, that he uh, needs to work out for us before he can really move on to, like, recognize that he's in a, on a team that... Uh, is ready to embrace uh, the championship mentality and like that we're heading towards this. You're like, we're really trying to push now that Jokic is like totally in his prime and we're like trying to get there. I think it's probably going to take him a second to lock in to that. Um, and I guess it would help to chill, which is hilarious <laughs> that it's like the marijuana card for that. 
and Jeff Green, by the way, who's like and Jeff pretty chill. Yeah, he <laughs> he is really color. chill. It's his last funny. name is Green, though. And his last name is Green. I was noticing that. It's funny because he is chill. Um, and I wonder if it's almost like too chill, like maybe like he needs to engage a little bit more because there's obviously something when the 10 of cups is reversed, it's like kind of, you're, you're stopping yourself in some way from getting to the next phase. So I think he probably needs to work out how to engage a little bit more. Maybe he'll be, he'll be like a little too reserved or something and I'll have to like show up a little bit more. That'd be my guess. Okay. All righty. So he needs too much marijuana. Maybe slightly less marijuana this year jeff green i don't know uh what do we have here harrison what do you got for us <laughs> you guys don't read pleasure and happiness <laughs> <laughs> well it's like but the reversed are so the reversed. <laughs> oh it's reversed right <laughs> disintegration of support well the, fam the, the family from hell <laughs> yeah well like, i, li I like, I like that. that part putting the fun in dysfunction <laughs> jeff green it sounds like uh the brooklyn nets but yeah, yeah, I digress. You guys are uh, by the way, guys, regarding marijuana, um, right now, if you head into any four Solace Med <laughs> locations and you use the code DNVR20, you get you get 20% off. Look at that comment. Look at that. Somebody timing. just commented at the same time. Oh, oh that's, <laughs> gotcha. awesome. that's that's hilarious. Uh, let's go with his you partner, Jamichael Green. Jamichael, I am also very curious because Boy, did I feel emotionally up and down with him last year. Okay, what does Jamichael need to know to face this next coming season, Jamichael? We are rooting for you. Interesting. Okay, Knight of Cups reversed, and this is Sarsaparilla. So Knight of Cups reversed is a very clear message, and I totally agree with it, of getting out of your feels a little bit. The Knight of Cups mm. reversed is very much like um being all knights are kind of out of balance because they're so focused on their goal they, it's like to the detriment of everything else and when the knight of cups is reversed there's some um there can be some sense of emotional hydraulics in some ways and feeling a little bit stuck in your not present like sometimes it's difficult to be present when the knight of cups is reversed um, getting caught up in uh, the way you want things to be rather, rather than the way things are. Um, okay. And I think that he, I feel like with the Knight of Cups reversed, it's like emotional imbalance in some ways. So mm -hmm. I would recommend to him to figure out a way to stay uh, like responsive in present situations and not get too caught up in what just happened five minutes ago or like what might happen in five minutes and like that kind of stuff. Like mm -hmm. just get, just getting more in tune with um, staying present is what I think that's about. Um, and then, hmm. Go on, go on. Oh, and I was just noticing that the herb is sarsaparilla. 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 Which, by the way, guys, uh, it's a plant. The root is used to make medicine uh, used for treating psoriasis and other skin diseases, uh, kidney disease, oh. for increasing urination to reduce fluid retention, uh, to, for increasing sweating. Um, so keep me away wow. from this. Interesting. <laughs> um, all righty. It's interesting because this one seems like it doesn't fit. Jay, Jay might just seem so chill and so, like, balanced naturally. So – um, it'll be something, I guess, to keep our eyes on as the season goes. What do you think, yeah. Wynn? Yeah, I don't know. It's um, All these reverse cards are kind of throwing me off here early. I think we only got like one last year. We've already gotten two. Yeah. They're not – I will say that it doesn't have anything to do with it being negative. It's more just like showing you what's not in balance. Yeah. And I feel like – it's funny because I feel like it's I kind of just – What were we going to say? The second unit is not in balance. <laughs> kind of like that's what it feels like. Well, I guess, well, I guess Fakus will be starting at times, but I feel like, I feel like there were times last year. I feel like there were a lot of times with Jamichael where I was like wishing that he would lock in more and like get things more in flow, which I feel like he found towards the end of the season. But I don't know. I feel like that's somewhat, I kind of feel like it is a little, but I don't know. 
I like the one that somebody commented on this. I must have missed it. That Jeff Green, maybe the fun in the Nuggets is bench dysfunction. So <laughs> <laughs> bench not going to be great, but Jeff Green dunking on a lot of different people. Uh, there we go. I yeah. Guess. Okay. Should we move to PJ Composure? See if Let's we can the, the page of Composure. Okay. And is he healthy yet? He's healthy. Yeah, he's okay. healthy. Not That's the wood. Really That's the wood. <laughs> okay. I'm also knocking wood. Okay, let's see. What does PJ need to know for his season to focus next year? <laughs> you guys are gonna are so scared of these reversals, but they're not bad. <laughs> this is the reverse ten of pentacles with oh, wow. wild yam as the huh. as the uh, herb. So well, I feel like I actually feel like reverse 10 of pentacles is kind of like the card that you see. So you know how we've been talking about people need to be grounded, blah, 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 blah. This is actually more of the opposite of that, of getting your feet out of the mud a little bit. It's like getting yourself mm. out of where you've been and um, starting to be more active. So I think along with Faku's magician card, this is another card that's asking PJ to take a more active role. Ooh. So I feel like starter. Um, kind of, yeah. But he because... into a starting role at some point Ooh. this season. <laughs> Pretty kind of. And I feel like because I feel like with reverse ten of pentacles, when this is upright, it's like extremely rooted, like to the to a point of mm. um, detriment at times. Like uh. stuck in like stuck in your ways, everything going exactly the same. Uh, way too uh, conservative. And when it's reversed, it's like a shaking up of that conservative type of energy and moving into a more dynamic place. Okay. I think that's a Which, great card for PJ. I do too. I, I do too. This one really fits for PJ. Yeah. I wonder what stepping outside though more means for him. Cause it does sound like a expanded offensive role, which almost is like scary. I think it's maybe, you know, maybe he becomes a starter at one point, or maybe he's just, you know, the captain of the bench unit. Maybe he just mm. takes on that role as, as the Six guy man. on that group. Yeah. Now, here's one thing that is concerning, Ariana. So it almost sounds like if regular is rooted, would second mean uprooted? And could that possibly mean him being uprooted from the Denver Nuggets? That did cross my mind. I hate to say it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was afraid to say it. I was, I was like, oh, no. The cards. No, I can't. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll what? have to keep that in mind. Oh, I'll tell you this, guys. I, I you. Did, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no. You go ahead. Please. Please. We're here to hear from you. Um, usually, like, for instance, last year when we saw Gary Harris, the obvious trading card, that was like, you're getting traded. It was very, yeah, it was very, that was like, obvious. that was really obvious. It felt very, like, graceful to me and easy this with this reverse that's why i'm like well it could mean that you get uprooted from the kind yeah. of um so i think it's so that to me to me that gives a double meaning of sort of like look if you don't take this dynamic role if you don't change the way things have been look you're going to get uprooted regardless whether you move forward in an offensive role or you get traded from the team so that's <laughs> That would be what I would say about that. Maybe he's uprooted from the second unit and rerooted yes. in the starting unit. It could be that. Uh, he, we'll, we'll, in we'll in any, that. yeah, there's just what he needs to know is an uprooting needs to happen. The pot he's in is not fitting. So okay. I would occur, encourage him to take an active role in that. I love that. Before, before we move on to these next ones, I'm just curious when you're doing tarot, tarot card readings, like what, um, what are clients like? Are, like? are people usually engaged? Like what's a bad sort of, um, what, how, how do you like people to respond and how do you not like people to respond to these? With tarot readings? Well, yeah. I deeply feel like there is no destiny in these cards. Like it is not, there. there's nothing outside of like our, there's nothing going on that we're not giving our control over to anything. Right. This to me is more, there, I think that there is something, especially all of us as a community, I think we all together can feel how a team is doing, feel where they're going. So the best people wow. can put that into words really well, whether they're like sports commentators or whatever it is. But um, the cards, when we reflect on them, help us help us bring that stuff out that we kind of already know. 
that's already kind of lying, which is why we, it's so easy for fan bases to kind of all know within themselves where their team is heading. It's like pretty easy for that stuff to uh, feel clear to, to teams. And especially with Denver, we're so into getting on the right wave and getting on the right vibe and even like the way that we draft and all that kind of stuff, there's this sense of intuition that's like running throughout the whole team. So my favorite thing, so all to say, that's a really long way to say, I hope people respond to tarot cards as something that's like helping them to reflect on something maybe we already deeply know, but right. haven't mm -hmm. been able to put into words necessarily. Which brings us to this comment, right? <laughs> yeah. Structurally. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> regardless of your relationship to it, it can be a good practice. It's almost yeah, like writing prompts. It's like reflection yeah. prompts. Reflection yeah. prompts. I mean, I think people are afraid to say that tarot is kind of like just talking to yourself. Like, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Right. <laughs> <It's> right. like, <laughs> that explains why Eric Weedham is so into this episode every year. <laughs> He's just looking to feel better about the constant muttering. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just Before we move on, just so we, we all know, EJ Forrest has dealt He's dealt with some health concerns, um, but wild yam is a plant that people have used for centuries in alternative medicine. Potential wow. medicinal uses for wild yam include the treatment of menopause symptoms, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, and muscular cramps. And I'm just going to tack this one off the end, core injuries. I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully also, it's true. I feel like wild yams is a great herb for a basketball player. Like <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to tweet wild yams every time yeah. I dunk it, and only 100 <laughs> people will have context for that right now. You should be taking funny. notes for social here. Um, that's so good. I, I love yams. I'm actually a big yam Me too. fan. Very good, underrated starch. All right, let's move on. Fun fact. Fun fact for Adam. Fact, not, no, Did you read that in the that. books behind you? Uh, <laughs> should we do one for Austin Rivers? Ooh, love it. Who has totally grown on me? I was so not behind him. Uh, now I'm like, yeah, he's growing all of us. I was wrong. Okay, what uh, does Austin need to know for this next season? Interesting. Ooh, he got reverse Ace of Swords chamomile. No chamomile. Oh, chamomile. chamomile. That's really Sweet. cool. So um, aces are always, as I said, they're always beginnings. They're always positive. Um, Swords has to do with thoughts, has to do with your mind. So reversed Ace of Swords makes me feel like Austin Rivers has a chance to get in the right mentality and needs to actively understand that. Um, I think that his mentality is gonna be the thing that is, his, uh, is going to be key for him rather than like getting it together physically or like that. we've been talking about being emotional or being stable or whatever it is. For him, it's here. He When he is not with it here, he doesn't play as well. So okay. I think that his mentality is going to be what will be most important for him. And he has a chance to, to get that straight, essentially. That's what I would say for this. Hmm. What do you guys think? It's a great card for him because so much about Austin Rivers' this season is going to be like, is he playing? Is he not playing? but he's going to have to stay locked in mentally through yeah, all of that. Absolutely. Man, he, this is a good point. The almost the entire bench is reversed at the moment. So This is I, this is something. Take take with that what you will. Just the bench is, just keeps coming up reversed. Should I, ask, should I should I ask the deck why? Yeah. Why the bench is reversed? Okay. I didn't yeah. know that was a thing we could ask it. Yeah, we can ask it whatever we want. <laughs> oh sweet. Tarot, why is the bench reversed? This deck starts talking. It showed me a reverse card, reverse six of swords. It said, because this team is struggling to uh, get to the next phase mentally. So things are very small, like things are very latent for them. The bench is latent. So there's okay. this sense of like, there's a sense of like, and the six of swords when it's upright is about slowly moving on, like getting, like you've bottomed out and now you're like mm. slowly trudging to the next phase. And sometimes you still mm. feel a little, you still feel a little down, but you're like getting to the next thing. When it's reversed, it's kind of like, almost like not doing what it takes to just kind of like, all right, it's like, I've accepted where I'm at now I'm moving on to the next thing. So there's, there's some acceptance that the bench hasn't totally connected with yet. 
And once they do, and these, I think those reversed cards can help them with where they need to accept what they need to accept and like get to the next phase. That would be my guess. To your yeah, point, Coach Malone would say it hasn't manifested or developed yet. He's actually not even sure what it is yet. So there's something to that as well. There's yeah. the form of the bench itself, uh, not not yet full. Yeah. yeah. And actually, that's there's six. Would there be six people on the bench? I'm like, I'm getting really too woo woo. Five, it. but it might be a five to six person bench yeah, this year. We, so. we yeah, don't quite six know. Person bench. There's six people for sure. Yeah. That's really funny. That's the bench. <laughs> what do you have for us for chamomile? It's uh, I know it's in. Sleepy time. Yeah, please. well, listen, as a team, oh, yeah, it's a problem. really calming property, right? And Austin Rivers is probably going to have to stay in this new Zen sort of stage that he's he, he's in now psychologically as he weathers the potentially, uh, you know, up and down playing time this season. So there's that. Uh, there's some other stuff about hay fever, but, you know. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little Ooh. antiquated. Um, I do like this. Faku, not reverse. What I love that. that? And I one. love I love that you pointed that out because he's the magician. He's the one that's going to activate. He is the key. He is wow. the key. Wow. He's going to save oh, him. He's the key. <laughs> I love that's it. why they're reversed because it's up to him. He all has right, to leave. I love, I, I love that. <laughs> all right. I love that too. I'm in. I'm all in. All right. Let's, um, now we're going to start getting to the more – Key players here. Starting okay. now, my palms are getting a little sweaty. Let's do uh, Monte Morris. Okay. Oh, I need to. I should have brought a glass of water too. Okay. You should hit up some chamomile. Okay. <laughs> Ring a little bell for a new for the protection. I'm just making. I like it. <laughs> I'm just making. Okay. Really <laughs> you could literally do anything. We're like, oh, interesting. No, that's wow. interesting. Yeah. No, nah, I'm, I'm making it up. Okay. So. Um, so we're reading for Monte. Monte, what do you need to see for your next year? Let's see. Show us Monte Morris. Ooh, I love this. Two of wands. Basil. Of wands. Little basil. Okay. Yeah, little basil. So the two of wands, interesting card. This card is about uh, making a vow. It's about deciding how you're going to uh, um, uh, like express your personal power. Monte is a wonderful player. Uh, and a lot of times when you see the two of wands, it's somebody who's already conquered a lot of things. With this card, you see that they have the whole world in their hands there. They've, they've been a, a quote conqueror of worlds in some way. And in some ways, Monte has conquered his world that he has created. He's done okay. the best he can within his world. But there's this push now to uh, go, venture into a new area and for him to kind of throw out the old map in terms of how he's been doing things and step into this next phase, really, as uh, someone who's creative. This is a creative dude. And okay. it's very important for him to feel that and to start to trust his own creative potential and his own personal power. Oh. Hey, he's talked about exploring and expanding his game as a starter. It's, so that's, it's important, yeah, there. especially about shot creation. So that feels wow. very like that feels wow. extremely accurate and very promising. Uh, and he's so humble. He's so um, willing to kind of like be a background guy at times, like not not to his detriment or anything. But he's like a small guy, and like he's sure. he's just a reliable small guy. And so he needs to uh, feel that fire condensed within him and really express it in, in uh, explosive ways. Like that's, that's what I think needs to be happening for him. So okay. it's, a very, it's a very positive card. It does make sense that it's like, okay, he's starting now. He got the starting job. He's conquered yeah. the bench role. Now he's on to something new. What do you got for us, Harrison? The two of wands, card of victory. You're in a great position. You've achieved an important goal and are now ready for the next step. This is Come on. this is crazy accurate. I mean, now he's the starter for the first time. Oh, yeah. He's got the chance to take the next step in his career. This is on point. So is this Ariana about venturing out? Like I see some words in here like travel and adventure. Uh-huh. Could I mean, is there any way I keep coming back to trade? Stop it. This, Stop it. This indicate? Okay. No. I don't I mean, I can't say totally 100% no, but I would uh, it would only see that affirmation right there. I am in control of my world. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I can't, he's to, it would be really weird if he got traded. That would be really weird. And I don't, I think it's more like coming back to the (laughs) same. Yeah, Adam, stop it. Like, that's really what I should say. Adam, stop it. (laughs) I don't need to say anything else. (laughs) I can tell you this, guys, it gets better. Um, Basil, as we all know, really, it's a tender plant and a culinary herb that's used in cuisines worldwide. And here's Mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Monte, an ingredient that can be used in any line. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, you're right. That is a universal ingredient. Pizza, salad. (laughs) Monte Morris. Monte Morris. That's too good. Too perfect. Um, all right, Will Barton, guys, the thrill. Will Barton, I have no idea what this is going to show me. Okay, uh, what do we need to know about right. Will? Oh man, Will Barton. Interesting. Eight of Pentacles, Ginger. Okay. Eight ginger. of Pentacles. This guy's just got to work. When I see Eight of Pentacles, it's a very short and sweet card. It's the card that says, "Just do it." It's mm. very much like, "Look, you've." Worked and worked and worked. Stay focused. Uh, give it your all. Give a hundred percent. Don't slack. Like complete things the way that they need to be completed. Complete your shots. Like that. That's like could it, what could this, it mean, this is a weird way. Could it mean completing the season? Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I he think hasn't can, completed a season for a couple yes, of years. Yes, I agree. I think there is an element of completion that we don't see from Will Barton. And this is as and the deck says it's time to uh, do what it do what needs to be done to, to do it. Like that I really feel like this card really is one of the most simple cards in the deck that's like, no more excuses, like just put your head down, finish the job at hand, and trust that what you're doing is uh important for the rest of your team and like that you're connected to something whatever outside of yourself and all this kinds of things this is always a card that's like do it for your community like be be a part of not that i i don't at all think that will barton is like um self-centered or anything like that but it's like there just what you said he's never completed a season it's not like always his fault but he knows enough now to stay grounded health wise and and not be a uh, uh, someone that you worry about. We don't want him yeah. to be. We don't want to worry about you anymore. Like, do your job. <laughs> Harrison, do you have the thing pulled up on your end? Do you want to share it? I do. Um, I love this affirmation. Like Ariana was saying, I love my work. And like, That's what it. have we heard about Will Barton coming into this season? He's got that joy back. He's right. He's oh, happy to be back out there. He's healthy. Yeah. So this Grinding. matches up perfectly. It's Look about the grinding. Meetings. Yeah. Uh, it's continuous grinding. effort, grinding, focusing on the job at hand. Another thing we've heard from Will Barton all off season is that it has bothered him that he hasn't had a playoff moment because he's hurt. He's been hurt the last yeah. three playoffs. So maybe this is, we see things like finishing the job and things like that. Like maybe this is an indication that this year he gets to actually be healthy for a playoffs and finish the job. Yeah. With yeah. I like it. I like this one. That's my, be my favorite one so far. I like that too. Yeah. Blue collar nugget. He is the blue collar nugget. Yeah. This is why I don't understand why people don't like him. I'm like, you can hate the result if you want, but you got to appreciate the work. The guy does like put in the work. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's go. This one, you guys, it only gets more nervous from here. Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Okay. Ooh. Don't know what to see. Well, see for this guy either. Okay. What does Aaron Gordon need to see? Marijuana is off the table. So I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> Aaron, what what do you need to know for your season? What was Thrill's herb, by the way? Did we ginger? Ginger, uh, okay. widely used as spice and folk medicine. I mean, okay. we're, we're all familiar with ginger. Yeah, ginger. We know ginger. We've got the reverse King of Swords. That's mm. Mm, I don't love this. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, oh no, our first don't love card. Can I just move on from it? Um, I don't love it. We've got it. We've got to talk we about it. it. We've got to. We can't cheat yeah. the cards. With reverse king of swords, it's just never a card I like to see because it's it's like someone who isn't uh it's not clicking. Like I really I feel like that's it's oh. it's not oh no, it's like not oh no, you know. Whenever oh, here's how I'll try to frame this. Whenever this card comes up, 
in love readings, if I read it for love people, I'm like, you should get out of this relationship. Like, I don't oh, like it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, crap. All right. Hey, last I'm year. I'm sorry. The tower, the tower, it was bad at first, but, you know, there were some positives. Let's, let's hear it. Just spit it I, out. We, we can take it. I mean, I guess what it feels like to me is... I don't know how else to put it other than it's not not clicking. Like I feel like with oh, so, that's literally with, the last thing you want to hear. I know, <laughs> but I promise, I promise these are not these don't control anything. It's something. Right. These are you need to know. You need to I know. asked, I asked, what does Aaron Gordon need to see? So he needs to see that um, he can't control every little thing. That he can't. Um, right force every little thing mm -hmm. this is a card that someone needs to see when they need to feel more and think less that's what mm. that's mm. what this is that's what this card is about to me um and i think it's also like i'll you know what i actually might i'm gonna make a wild prediction he might get like a really weird ref call like this feels like a this feels like something not th since this is like swords is about the mind so it's like communication not working like this is like something yeah, yeah. not going on communication wise in a major way that like affects other people maybe okay. we'll know more about we might know more about what that means in the future i don't know i okay. and i want to go on record on saying that i don't like this card <laughs> what's, the, okay. what's the herb on that one the herb on this card is saint john's wort oh saint john's wort <laughs> interesting yeah what do you got for us on that one vote uh, um Give me a second. <laughs> Somebody says Gordon suspended for marijuana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, it's no, legal he now. This year. Yeah, you can't be suspended this year. Um, all right. Well, hey, maybe we huh. got our bad part out of the way. What it's a have? it's an herbal remedy that's been used for hundreds of years to treat mental health problems. There like we go. Mild and moderate depression. Matches up. Alrighty. Mentality. Something's going on with swords. There's why... always something going on here. Okay, so it's something to be overcome, but. Yeah. Probably will have to be confronted at some confronted. point. Confronted. Right. Confront something. I, I'm so nervous to do this to you. Um, Bones Highland. Okay. Ah, shit. Bones Highland. What does Bones need to say? No, there's nothing to lose, only oh, stuff to gain. No, here. it's victory. This is a card of victory. Six of wands. Let's go! Wow. <laughs> Let's go! Wow. Wow. The Bones yeah. Highland. <laughs> This is just the straight up victory card. It's literally like being uh, like lifted on people's shoulders and like carried around. So it's great. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. This is uh, the herb is Hawthorne. So I think he's going to have a great season straight up. That's great awesome. season. This is, wow. Yeah, this is awesome. So what was the card again? What's it called? The what? Six the of Wands. And if you look, like, it's actually even better on the, if you're, I know you're looking up the cards, it's actually even better in the, uh, on the other deck. So if you show it, you'll see, it's like victory, like success, like reach your goal. You know I mean? <laughs> I always I've got the six like, of wands here. Yeah, let's, let's pull it up. Let's see what we're looking at here. You're a winner. I love it. The winner's card, victory, triumph. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. Okay. I easily achieve my goals. <laughs> <laughs> we have, it's literally, literally, we are the champions is the official video. Oh, we are the champions. Rookie of the year incoming. Bones Finn Unite. Oh, my goodness. Everyone bet that rookie of the year. The odds are insane. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. I like this. I like this general meaning. Bossing up. <laughs> Bossing up. I love, leader of the pack. Big wins. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. This is like the perfect bones card. Yeah. I just feel like it's the best. It's great. I feel, the I feel vibes around now. bones, like bones is his vibes are so strong. Like I was, there yeah. should have been no guess that this was going to be a great card. What what herb did we get? Hawthorne, so Eric Eric Weedham, who's in the chat. I'm talking to you. Uh, Hawthorne can help improve the amount of blood pumped out of the heart. Widen the blood vessels nice. and increase the transmission <laughs> of nerve signals, aka Eric's physical response to just hearing the man's GD name. Yeah, oh, it's incredible. That was so. This might be the best card we've ever pulled. Yeah, like in three sure. years. This, yeah, this for might sure. be the one that's got us the most. Because we didn't pull that one last year, right? No, we didn't pull that one last year. No, right? 
Um, the Reverse Emperor was pretty good as well. That one. Yeah, was that pretty, was good. Pretty, pretty good. And what had happened? He became the MVP. So again, yeah, that was perfect. sweet. Uh, I love it. Um, well, I feel like we can't go up from here. Let's do Michael Malone next. Okay. What does Mike need to know? Very curious. Michael Malone, what do you need to see? Hmm. Okay. Reverse Knight of Wands. So hmm. this is, um, so remember we got earlier, Jamichael Green got the reverse Knight of Cups. So that's that's about being soggy with your emotions. With reverse Knight of Wands, it's too much fire. Wands is about, um, <laughs> it's, it is. So wow. where Cups is very watery, very emotional. This is more like, ah, like this is like, it's time to reel it in. Like this, it's too much. Wow. It's too yeah. much. Are you kidding me? Ugh. So <laughs> that's, and like, uh, it, it's like knowing too that you've gone too far in that regard. So it's like, it's like, there's no excuse. It feels a little similar to Will Barton's card of like, come on, like just, it's time okay. to shift, shift it. Malone, um, Malone needs to chill. We get it. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. It's Malone needs to chill. You know what's like, hilarious freedom. too? Aconite, and it says poisonous herb. Ooh, aconite. Ooh. How aconite. do I spell that? Wow. Do not so be really careful with this with these herbs, you guys. Well, is this wolfsbane? Is aconite wolfsbane? Oh, it's called wolfsbane. Is that yeah. True? A C O. -N. It's understood wow. as a poison from ancient times and frequently <laughs> represented as such in fiction. Wow. wow. This is an incredibly wow. appropriate one for Malone for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't smiling. be your don't be your own worst enemy. Don't be your own worst enemy. Because right. when this is when this is, up, when this is upright, it's Mike Malone, it's the leader, it's the fiery leader, it's like courageous charisma, like Infusing everybody with enthusiasm, and when it's reversed, it's too much. It's the poison of the fire. Okay, oh, no. I like it. Um, if you bring, <laughs> wow, we got to move on. Uh, I, I saw something on the other card, but I won't bring it up. Um, it definitely fits. Do we want to? The only ones left now are MPJ and Yoke. Oh, and Jamal Murray. We should Jamal. Jamal Murray. We should yeah. let's do Jamal? Jamal Murray next. Okay, yeah. Jamal. Oh, Oh, you wait, can I plug? Ariane, before you go, I just want everyone to know, if you missed it, the Jamal Murray Player Preview video, it premiered at noon today. It's archived on YouTube. Go check it out. It's really good, for sure. All right, now we're good. Sorry. Okay. Is it true that Malone almost got ejected in preseason? I didn't watch. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, he's always he's always steaming, to be honest. Yeah, he got <laughs> heated. He got heated, for sure. He got right. very heated. But more to okay. the player. Yeah. Okay, I see. Okay, so now we're going to do... What does Jamal need to see? You had a tough time with the reversed moon last year. What do you need to see for this year, Jamal? Ah, he got the six of cups. Oh, it's so yeah. sweet. Oh, oh it's sweet. watermelon. It's honestly, this is such a nice, we so needed to see a card like this. This is so sweet. This the is almost like the card of true love. Like it's just so, um, Usually when this card comes up, it's like, <laughs> it's like trusting, loving, like you've never been hurt. It's a faith. It's like pure faith in your environment. A watermelon obviously is like a wonderful <laughs> watermelon. I didn't know that was like an herb, um, but it's like, it's really just uh, embracing feeling happy and feeling joy and feeling like all the best parts of Jamal really. Like it's just every, all of the kind of like, uh, charm and energy that he brings that feels so effortless and feels so sweet and just kind of like he has had this boyish charm throughout like even as he's been developing he's there's always this like childlike element to him okay and it feels like this is very much it's 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 honestly like it's the card that I see that's like everything's okay now it's okay like it's it's very like you've been through the the woods and now this is laying out as like um just trust just trust now and it's not okay. as like i know we had also gotten that card for zeke naji but it's a little different because for zeke it was more about like really being grounded physically in the in the real right. world with, with jamal it's emotional it's like this embrace it's like the team embracing him again after like a pretty tough time you know what i mean awesome so it's a beautiful card it's like as it's it's one of my favorite cards in the deck 
So I love it. Don't totally get how it's going to apply, but it sounds positive. So I'm, <laughs> I'm in. The affirmation is I respect is. the past, but embrace the present moment. That's what that I'm talking about. pretty well. That's Jamal, awesome. is pretty, Jamal's pretty hyper present. I think, I think that's part of why he catches fire so easily is he's a guy that like lives in the moment super well, just, just naturally. Are you guys ready to lose your minds? Oh, let's um, do it. According to a 2017 studies, athletes drink either half a liter or uh, a placebo of watermelon juice with added l citrulline. Uh, it is believed that watermelon, watermelon juice may reduce muscle soreness and improve recovering time in athletes. What? Let's go. It has nothing to do with ACLs, but that's not the point, baby. I found it. Let's go. I found a link. He's doing it. I love it. Jamal's wow. coming back and better than ever. I love it. Um, yeah, it's really are, sweet. Some people are asking for a bowl, bowl one. Can we just oh, go back and yeah. just do this? Yeah, let's bowl, do bowl. bowl before we get to the big two. Bowl, boy, what do you need to see, dude? This one I feel no pressure from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whatever happens happens here. What's up, bowl, bowl? Four of Wands. That's cool. Fennel seed. Four of Wands is great. Four of Wands is like. Um, it's a celebratory card. It's actually the card you see when you are having this kind of like temporary celebration to celebrate a permanent change in your life for the better. So I think he's probably going to be playing more freely. I think he's going to be a more liberated player this year. It's extremely okay. positive. It's like a, it's, it's like, uh, uh, sometimes it's like, can literally, literally be about getting married in the metaphorical way. It's about like finding union within yourself and whatever it is you're doing. I think it's very positive. Well, oh, good. He needs, yeah. he needs a little, he needs a little of that in his life. So, all right. Yeah. I like it. I think it's um, positive for him. Anything for fennel seed there, vote? I mean, <laughs> a bit of a stretch. Uh, I can yeah. just tell you that it is a very highly, highly nutritionist uh, culinary herb and medicinal plant. Okay. Well, there I you have go. so many oh, reasons to celebrate. Here to be that. So, Many wow, I wonder, if it, does cool. mean right, I like I wonder it. if it does mean a new right, home. The big one Maybe here. We'll... What if he could, well, and, I guess that could be read as a trade card. Anyways. Yeah, a new home. That one could be read as a trade card. All right. Um, all right, the big ones. Last year, okay. Michael Porter Jr., last year we got the tower. <laughs> it was an ominous one, but I think accurate. So curious. Look at the vote. He's curled into a ball. He's ready. Okay. I'm not afraid. Michael Porter Jr., yes. What's up, baby? What is the card that you need to see for this next coming season? Okay, this is not bad. Page of Swords. All right. <laughs> Page of okay, Swords. interesting, interesting. Okay, Page of Swords. So Page's childlike energy. This is um, uh, sometimes irritating energy. <laughs> this is the <laughs> card of someone who is still green. So I don't think we're going to be seeing a completely mature version of Michael this year. Okay. However, however, this is someone who's willing to learn. The Page of Swords is someone who's willing to learn, willing to grow, and also willing to like do the right thing. <laughs> it's funny because I also think this does apply to his mentality around political issues and things like that. <laughs> I kind of want to like get, to, <laughs> get to into it. But it's a type of, it's a type of, you know how he, oh my gosh, you know how he has that podcast now that's called like why or whatever? Curious, 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 curious. This, like, this is honestly, it's kind of hilarious. This is Curious Mike. This is the, no. this character, Page of Swords is the card that says why, 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 why? So like, I think we're just going to be seeing I think um, I think we're going to be seeing him at his best for where he's at. So I don't think there's going to be more drama like the drama there was last year. He, he's now more on track to where to to where he's at right now, which isn't isn't fully mature. It's just not. But it's okay. also not like it's not. Uh, he's willing to be here and do what he needs to do. He's not like stubborn. That's what mm. this is promising. That it's not like with the knights. The knights are really out of balance. When it's the page, there's still this element of like being willing to learn and grow and like enjoy life. So mm. I think it should be enjoyable. That's what I would say. So I like to look at these sword. almost exclusively just from a basketball standpoint. You think about with Porter, this has been such a three year now um, road of finding a new way of playing. Like he was always just give him the ball and get out of the way. 
and yeah. maybe that maybe this could represent a further step on in that direction to a, a I definitely yeah. think so. I definitely uh, think so. All right, we'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, it does sound good. like a pretty positive card. That's good. I mean, there was no burning yeah, for sure. they fell from a building in this one. So I, I feel like that was a positive <laughs> good start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really good start. I feel like Paige is always, oh, and it's dill. That's the, his herb is oh. dill. Oh, yeah. Let's get some dill. Come on, Vogue. We need a, <laughs> kind of a weird, kind of weird. Like a dill weed. Okay. Like, that's kind of weird. That's not too bad. That's not that's not too bad. Um, somebody said while well, while well, he's looking up dill, somebody wanted before we do yoke to do one for the the fans, the audience. Is it possible to pull one for yeah. for nuggets? So nation? what do we? Okay, I love that. What do we all need to know to we enjoy all. this coming season as Denver Nuggets fans? What do we need to know? <laughs> Nine of Wands. <laughs> So this is the card of never give up. <laughs> this is the card. Oh, <laughs> never give up. Let's this go. is truly, it's so funny to me because this is the card of like, keep the faith, persevere. I know you've been bashed around. I know you've been bonked over the head. Like, I know you've yep. had injuries. Like, I would encourage you to like, look up this card in the other deck too. Um, it's literally has a guy whose head is bandaged and like, He's leaning on his wand and he's like, come so far. And he's like, so defensive. And and he's like, you guys have no idea what I've been through. <laughs> oh, poor guy. That is us. Look at us. We have so been it's, beaten. You've just been, you, but you've, so it asks us to find the inner reserves to keep going. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Like School lessons learned, knocks. school of hard knocks, trust issues. Just like, it's like, yeah, that's the affirmation. We are safe. Like that, this. that very yeah. much feels like. Guys, don't ignore the vibe. <laughs> don't ignore the vibe. Pay attention to the vibe, people. That could be our it. new like site-wide theme. I love Screw that. Screw unfinished business. Don't ignore the vibe. Yeah. Don't ignore <laughs> the vibe is definitely a good one. I like it. Um, it right, uh, I, got a dill, I got a dill update real quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> We did spend some time juxtaposing MPJ and Bull Bull, right? Especially because Porter took Bull Bull under his wing a little bit, right? Two talented players that maybe took different initial approaches. And here's the thing. Dill and Fennel often get confused for one another. And they seem <laughs> similar in appearance, but they're in fact two different plants used for different purposes and each possess unique characteristics that directly affect the nature of the dishes that they are used in. That's not all Fennel when compared to dill is actually the taller wispier plant <laughs> okay <laughs> always definitely a taller wispier michael porter that's that's very accurate worked hard for that one wow thank you did, really we, uh, that. did we get the fans have a, an herb the fans have an herb i've never heard of this before bayberry bark bay bayberry bark that sounds fun bay so we need to bark. keep that we need to keep that around for ourselves like it's gonna we not definitely be need some bayberry bark um, so long as it's not poisonous. What do you have on that one, Bo? Yeah, this one's going to be tough. Bayberry bark. <laughs> well, much like Nug Life, uh, despite safety concerns, some people still just decide to take bayberry for head colds, pain, <laughs> and swollen intestines, and diarrhea and nausea. Uh, and in large amounts, bayberry is used to cause vomiting. <laughs> I can tell you then that in that bubble playoff run, that checked out. <laughs> it's so it, true. That checked out for sure. Oh, I love it. We use it as medicine, but it also makes us vomit. <laughs> There's no better way to define being a Nuggets fan. All right, guys. We're okay. at our final card. Okie dokie. All right. Yoke. Yoke it. King Yoke. The Joker. All right. Let's pull for Nikola Jokic. What does Nikola Jokic need to see for this upcoming 2021-2022 NBA season as the reigning MVP? <laughs> okay. I don't know what this means. Hmm. Reverse, reverse Knight of Swords. So we saw some other reverse knights too, right? Wild. Okay. This is Wild Cherry Bark. Okay. Okay. So this a lot. Who got the other ones? Jermichael Green and Mike Malone. So right. we saw that Michael was the water. We saw Mike was the fire. This is air. This is again. Swords represents your mind. So I think that. This feels like a card to me of, we don't actually think of Jokic as being someone who is, who 
he's not a thinky player in my opinion. Like he's very smart, but he's never really in his head or anything like that. I'm actually going to ask for a clarifying card with this because I don't actually really understand. He, it. Is this the same one that Aaron Gordon got? No, the, he got he got reverse King of Swords. I don't like that guy. This guy, oh, okay. this this, this, this guy's different. Swords. This is okay. this is different. It's a different kind of energy that I actually don't totally understand. So I'm going to pull a clarifying card okay. for that. Interesting. Reversed hermit. So that's oh okay okay I think I okay I think I'm getting it. So that's licorice, which is interesting. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> so these two cards together. Um. Mm. So here's what I'm going to say. So when it's reversed hermit. That's the card you see when it's like you've learned enough and you need to come out of your learning period and start to disseminate your knowledge more widely, essentially. <laughs> so oh, I yeah. think that with the reverse Knight of Swords being that kind of, that's the first card to come out. I, I can see how I understand that Jokic doesn't want or need to care about being the MVP, like, uh, all the accolades that go along with stuff. He just wants to win a championship and all that kind of stuff. But I will say he almost like has to use his words more and use his knowledge more in a more effective way with his team um, to, to be almost like to set better boundaries as a leader so that okay. people are like doing what needs to be done and, and can feel that he needs them to do it. Instead of it being this kind of like, I don't care. Like I, you know, not that he doesn't care, but it's kind of like, he's different. He's a different kind of player. He's a different kind of leader. And it's not always going to like be a hundred percent obvious to every single person. So it's almost like if he can um, accept that he is, uh, <laughs> he would never accept this, but he is more like the LeBron figure than Mike. Mike Mullen's great, but this, it's really at the end of the day, it's about Jokic, Jokic's vision and seeing what needs to be done and he needs to take a little bit more of that role of like, yeah, you've studied under Mike and it's been this very like incredible process and everyone's grown as a result, but I need to see more from you in terms of laying out the narrative for where you want things to go. That's how I would, mm. that's how I, I would say it. that. For Interesting. That. Interesting. Well, it sounds like last year, the, you know, the reverse emperor, all about him accepting the throne. This one almost yeah. sounds more complex in it nature is. for him. Like, you know, he's already on it the is. throne. Now he's got to, like, learn how to rule, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. exactly what that means. And it's very much about, like, look, you don't need a teacher anymore. You don't have to <laughs> play. You don't have to play like you're some student because you're not. Mm, yeah. Like, you need to, you need to uh, start dictating stuff a little bit more. Mm, yeah. with words yeah. not just your not just you know because i think a lot of times people are like be the change you want to see in the world and like act blah 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 blah, blah. but there but it does it does uh, uh matter what you say it's not just mm. about what you do it also what you say also matters so i think that's kind of what that is saying as well i see it i see it i definitely could see it um did you have anything for cherry or what was what was our oh, yeah. like Liquor it. What I can't say that word. Liquor it. Yeah. I Liquorous. secretly, I also secretly pulled one more clarifying card for Jokic and I got the King of Cups, which I really like. <laughs> okay. Well, tell us. You can't, it can't be a secret. What is this last clarifying one? King of Cups. This is like, I, it really warms my heart, if I'm being honest. Uh, <laughs> it's like, look, look, like, accept. This is the reluctant king. The King of Cups is a reluctant king because he puts aside his feelings to hold space for other people. Like that's okay. what this King is all about. So I feel like with him, he needs to trust that his, his way of leading is going to work. I know it's not comfortable. I know it's reluctant for him and it's different, but, but his ability to tolerate what's going on is very effective and uh, needs to be embraced. He needs to embrace his role. I know you're the joker. I know you're the fool. I know you're not comfortable in a king position, but here you are. You're different. Like this is the, you know, he's different. He's a different king. 
Yeah. Anyway. Oh, man. Love it. <laughs> I love it. I feel and like it we've been like building up to videos. these cards for that card in particular for the last couple of years. We've been I agree. Up to that. I agree. Was, so I really like those cards for him. And it makes sense yeah. that he deserved, honestly, it makes sense that he deserves a three card reading rather than just one because he's a complex dude. He does. Yeah. So he, you could pull like 50 cards for him. Yeah. Uh, he definitely sure. is a complex figure. Somebody asked this one. I don't know if it's appropriate. Are, one for a whole team. Is there, like, would it make sense to pull one yeah, for sure. like, the, the team as a whole? Yeah. Well, that's, this will yeah. be our last one. So this we'll, will be we'll our final. Have, what is the Our thing that, that the team needs to see? Why don't we say, can we say like all of Nuggets Nation, right? like everybody? Or should sure. not just for the team? Well, we yeah, already did one, 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 one for the fans. Let's do one for the team. Okay, one for the team. What does the team need to look at? What does every what does the whole team need to have hanging and in the banner? Comments. People at Ariana, the people love you so much. Oh, I love everybody. The whole time. Do you know how it's lucky so I feel that like I get to do this and people are receptive to it? It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so receptive. <laughs> I I I mean, you guys are just you make me so happy. So it's like yeah, it's amazing. So awesome. Okay, what is what do the Nuggets team need to see overall? Finish strong, baby. <laughs> The lovers. <laughs> the lovers. Oh my! <laughs> lovers. Let's go. Wow. The lovers. Yes. <laughs> I mean, what more wow. do I need to say? What more do I need to say? Just fall in love with each other. The lovers. I Union. Love I think um, when we're not dealing with a, a sexual union, which is usually what lovers is about, it's really just about rapturously embracing your personal philosophy. It's just like okay. with your whole heart, trusting that you that you are on the path that makes the most sense for you, despite what anyone else might say, which is about okay. what it means to fall in love. So, like it's about what it means to fall in love. It's following your heart and feeling like I can't deny this. And as long as um, the Nuggets can keep that in mind, that that they can trust that they've built this incredible personal philosophy that they can kind of follow and uh, make manifest. <laughs> this card is ridiculous. <laughs> can you see these guys? <laughs> yeah, I do see them, yeah. What is our herb? What is the herb? Parsley. Oh, we did parsley, parsley already. Yeah, right? Really underwhelming for lovers. I wouldn't have guessed lovers and parsley together, but. Yeah, I agree. I also find, I also <laughs> think that Ariana, this is incredible we we have to get you next time you're in colorado you have to let us know uh, i will we'll have, we'll have you to the bar we would even have you if you are interested in it do a show at the bar i would love uh, that and i'm sure if you're in town too i like there'd probably be a line of people wanting to have uh cards <laughs> that would be willing to pay to to i would love to card read, read yes reading. i would love to i want to try to come out this season nope. at some point hide that i didn't mean to pull that one up Oh, no. <laughs> um, th that'd be awesome that would be so fun uh, the bar would love to have you uh, we would obviously love to have you and this was fun this gives us so much to think about we're gonna have to archive we're gonna have to write down every single one and we'll reference these throughout the season like we did last year how many times did we reference the tower last year i mean it, it's it was fun. the theme of the season the theme, <laughs> of, the really whole season. The theme of the season um, but hopefully victory what, what was the victory card for bones for bones six of unbelievable one. The, the six, six of wands. wands. All right. Very excited for the six of wands this year. I think that's going to be the card that sticks out the most for me. Um, you guys have anything before we get out here, Sen? Vote? I mean, we don't even really have to play the season out. We know what's <laughs> going to happen now. So No, was, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know the questions that will be asked this season. We don't know the answers, but we don't know the, the questions answers. that will be asked. Oh, um, we only have the truth. We don't have the answers. Yes. Well, there you go. Oh, I got to hit this outro music here. Ariana, thank you so much. What a treat. Uh, thank you thank so you much. Thank you, guys. I had a great time. You guys time. see her. She's tagged, and we're going to keep promoing this one because it's one of our favorites throughout the, the whole year. So we'll keep promoing this one on social. We have some yeah, cool, cool cards, cards that uh, the homie Al Quinn made that we're going to keep posting out. Those are really, really cool. You're going to like these, Ariana, when you see them. They're, we have some custom cards made Ooh. for Nuggets Nation. Um, so those will be coming out. And everybody else, have a great weekend. Next week, guess what happens, everybody? The season begins. The off the actual two, real game. Off season, preseason, out of here. The on season begins next week. I'm excited for it. We'll see everybody and, then. And, oh, wait, Will Barton at five. Will Barton at five. <laughs> oh yeah, we have the Will Barton preview series. You guys catch up on those all uh, this weekend. Sure. We've got all kinds of good ones on. So, all right, there. Now we're out of here. There we go. Oh, wrong one. Dang it. That was not it. <laughs> we'll do it live. Incredible.